Hey everyone, it's Megan with Above Review Studio. Today I'm going to show you another card. It's pretty simple and pretty similar to one I've already done, but I'm just going to show it to you anyway. It's for to go in the rest of my card kit. I'm going to do a best friend card from the Paper Pups cartridge. I've been using this cartridge a lot lately just because I think it's really cute. And um, I think it goes with the theme of what I'm trying to make with this card set. So that's what I'm doing. And... Um, I forgot to change out my blade, so I'm going to show you again real quick. I'm going to open this up. I have to change out because I have my deep um, deep cutting blade in there for my stamps from the last video I did. I'm just going to change that out real quick. You can see how I'm doing that, and you can watch the video um, on cutting out um, stamps to see all the info on changing it out, so I'm just doing this real quick. Sorry, I didn't have this done ahead of time. Okay, now I just have to turn on my machine. And this paper is from K and Company Happy Trails Pack. Um, it's double-sided and I love it. And I'm going to load in my paper. I'm going to turn off my real dial size because I don't really need that. I'm going to set my um, page at five and a half, or my dial at five and a half, um, because I'm going to do two cards. I'm going to do my autofill button, and that should fill in two cards on the page. I'm going to hit my card function, and then because I want it to say best friend, um, I'm going to, you know, I'm just going to do friend. I changed my mind. I'm going to do just friend. Um, so I'm going to press the shift button, and I'm going to hit the best friend button on my machine, and it will bring up friend. Perfect. So I just have to cut it out. I'm going to slow down my pressure and up my speed. There we go. Okay. It'll cut out two times on this page, and I'll see you when they're finished cutting. Right. I'm going to do backing for the inside. I'm going to do it just in a yellow cardstock, and I'm going to do it at uh, four and a half by two and a quarter. So I'm just going to place it in here. Let's see, four and a half. by two and a quarter, and this is two and a quarter. Now they're a little crooked because I wasn't paying attention, but that's fine. They don't need to be perfect because they're going on the inside of my card, and I'm also, I also like to back the inside of my cards when I do it like this, so that's fine. The inside are already done, but I like to do a little piece of just something over top of my design work so that it looks more completed, and that's just how I am. Some people don't put anything and they're blank and that's fine. Sometimes I leave them blank. It depends on what I'm doing. So, um, so that's done. Now I'm just going to score my cards. There's little score marks on each card when you do it with the Cricut um, cartridges. And I just have to find where that is. Line it up and I'm just going to use my folder. I'll simply fold it over. Okay. You can use a ruler to smooth it out. I just like using my folder because I have one. And it's convenient for me. So it's folded over. And see, that even looks cute. Like you have the little backing coming through and that's fine. So if you want to leave it like that, I might even just leave one like that. and Because it does look really cute. It has a little flower in the background. And it's just plain and simple. And then you can still write your note you know, down here, however you want to do it, so. All right, let's take this one. I'm going to start by putting my backing on. I just need to find my glue runner right here. And I just glue right along the edges. A little bit here, a little bit there. A little bit on the inside. Give it a good hold. And then I line it up. place it down and there's my backing for this card now I'm going to add a ribbon around the bottom I'm just going to use a plain brown silk ribbon this was 50 cents at AC Moore I'm going to put a little bit of my glue right at the top here because I want it to be right underneath my friend I want it to stay in place so I'm just going to place it 
right across the top. And I'm going to show you another method to make sure that it doesn't slip either. It's a lot more ribbon than I needed, but that's okay. And I'll just use some of this because I'm going to, oops, I'm going to um, back it with white cardstock anyway. So that's fine. So there that is. And I'm going to add a few more little embellishments. I'm going to put a little, well, let me do my inside because I already have all my glue on here. So finish off my glue. Flip, flip. What's going to be really cute about this is I'm going to place this on here. things I'm going to use this um, 3d washable glitter glue um, I really like using it <laughs> um, I got it for actually another craft and I started using it on some of my cards and paper and it, I really like the way it turns out and I'm gonna actually fill in my little eye with it just do a little blob right on there and it will be raised in 3d and it's I just think it's cute so for my little eye dot there it is and then that takes some time to dry. If you're in a hurry for a card, I wouldn't recommend using that. You could also use a little gem, or you could use, oh, what else could you use? You could use a little button, if you have a little tiny button. There's a couple different options. But actually, I am going to use three little buttons right along here, and I'm going to just tack them on there with some other glue, and I'm gonna stamp the inside of my card, and that'll be it. Hope you like it. Okay, I'm just throwing the buttons on the inside of my, or yeah, the inside on the ribbon of my card. I'm going to, I couldn't find three buttons that were exactly the same, so I just found three that I liked. And they never have to match exactly, they just have to coordinate. So I'm just going to place them on here all in a row. Just using some. Um, scotch glue, just craft glue, scrapbooker's glue. It's photo safe, it means it's acid free. Um, I'm not using it because of that because I'm not using any photos on here, but I'm just using it because I like the hold. So you can also use your Zig 2 way glue pen. I've used that on these buttons as well, and that works fine. But there you go, that's the rest of my card. Pretty simple. Easy to do real quick, and Cricut works great for uh, doing these extra card features. All right, I'll talk to you later. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.